I'm Monica Farrell, a class teacher at Carrowside Primary School. And I'm Chris Barron, also a primary school teacher at Carrowside Primary School. And today we're going to look at decimal fractions and the four processes, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, Monica, over to you. The children will be familiar with the layout of an addition calculation. And it's important to remind the children that each digit has a box of its own and the decimal point is always placed on the line. When beginning an addition calculation with a decimal fraction, we start over at the right hand side, the column on the right hand side, which in this case is the hundreds column. Before we begin, we always ask the children to place the decimal point in the answer box, as this avoids confusion. Starting here, we have three add zero, allowing us to put down a three in the hundreds column. We then move on to our tenths column, which is seven add four, giving us 11 tenths. As we can't put down 11 tenths, we put down 1 tenth and carry 10 tenths over. 10 tenths is the same as 1 unit. 3 add 2 is 5. Adding on our 1 that we carried over gives us 6. 2 add 1 is 3, giving us a final answer of 36.13. We are now going to look at a subtraction calculation. Just like with an addition calculation, we encourage children to place a decimal point in the answer box to avoid confusion. We start again over at the hundreds column on the right hand side. Four subtract one gives us an answer of three. Moving over to the tenths column, we have eight subtract three giving us five. It's important with subtraction that we always encourage the children to subtract from top to bottom. And the reason for this is apparent in this example here. One subtract four, we cannot do. Therefore, we have to exchange from our tens column. We can exchange one ten for ten units. So we cross out our three and make it a two and we put our 10 units that we have exchanged here making it 11 subtract 4. 11 subtract 4 is 7 and 2 subtract 1 gives us an answer of 1. Our final answer is 17.53. Okay let's now look at a multiplication example. Okie doke. As with the previous examples, we want to put our decimal point in uh, first to avoid any confusion. So there it goes. We now look at the far right column. We have 5 multiplied by 5, which gives us 25, which is 25 hundredths. So the 5 goes into the hundredths column and we carry our 2 into our tenths column. Moving over, it is now 5 multiplied by 2, which is 10. Add our 2 we carried over is 12. Again, our 2 goes into the column and we carry over our 1 to the units column. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25, add our 1 is 26, so 6 goes into the units column and we carry our 2 over. And our last calculation is 5 multiplied by 1, which is 5, add our 2 is 7, to give us a final answer of 76.25. We're going to look at division now, and we have two examples for us which your child is likely to experience at primary school. Our first example, uh, we look at our left-hand column. This is different from our previous calculations, but super important. So we start our left-hand column, and to begin with, again, I'm going to put my decimal point above in the answer box. Okie dokie. 9 divided by 7 will give us an answer of 1 remainder 2. In this case, it's 2 units, which is equivalent to 20 tenths. We carry this down to our tenths column, and it now becomes 21 tenths. So 21 divided by 7, giving us a final answer of 1.3. Okay, let's look at our second example, which is slightly more complicated because it's got a decimal remainder. We're going to put our decimal points in first to begin with. So there she goes. And we're looking at our left-hand side. It's two tens divided by five, which is zero. Can't do that. Zero. And we carry our two down into our units column. The two tens is the equivalent of 20 units. So our number here is 20 divided by five, which is four. Next column is the tenths column. It's 6 divided by 5, which can go in one time. Carry our 1. So we've now got 12 hundredths. 12 divided by 5 can go two times, remainder 2. 
but we have no digits left to carry our remainder to. In this instance, we extend our line, add a placeholder 0, which does not change the value of the number, and we can carry our two thousandths down to create 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4, giving us a final answer of 4.124. You can practice addition, subtraction, multiplication and division calculations within decimal fractions with your child at home. You may also want to make links to real life contexts such as money and budgeting. <laughs>